Good evening folks, welcome to an Oz Cyclone Chasers Cyclone video update tonight the 13th of November 2014. This update is brought to you by Campbell Scientific Australia, when measurements matter. No prizes for guessing, but there's nothing going on cyclone-wise in WA, Queensland, or the NT region. Looking at rainfall this past week, the parts of Western Australia and parts of Western, the Western Top End coastline have received quite good rainfalls from thunderstorm activity. You can see here falls of up to 25 millimetres in parts and also in the far northern Kimberley some spectacular thunderstorms with falls in the 50 to 100 millimetre range uh, possible or sorry observed in that area. Uh, further south we had a little bit of a break here in between the Kimberley and Pilbara and then in the eastern Pilbara we saw some really good thunderstorm activity and heading into the interior and the gold fields of WA. Over Queensland a, a con constant or consistent troughing uh, across this region has created some spectacular looking thunderstorms on the lightning tracker but not much in terms of rainfall. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain out here towards Cloncurry from a, an outbreak of storms, but you probably got just about as much dust in your house as you got rain from most of these storms. In fact, it's pretty dull all over the all over the world in terms of cyclone activity. There's a weak low out here in the Central American coastline. There's another weak low here in the Southern Indian Ocean, just to the west of Australia's region. And uh, none of these things are expected to deepen too significantly. The low here in the Southern Ocean, expected to, sorry, the Southern Indian Ocean, uh, is expected to move in a westerly direction. It might deepen slightly over the next few days, and we'll we'll keep an eye on that in the Global Cyclones blog for subscribers. There's also an area of thunderstorms around the Philippines but really folks it's uh, it's certainly the time of year where we don't see any sort of tropical cyclone or very very limited tropical cyclone activity around the world normally at this time of the at this time of the year we would be lucky to see any more than one as for future rain, if we look at tomorrow's rainfall forecast, you can see a trough system over WA producing some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of WA there, and also the northern sections of the Kimberley continuing to remain active. A uh, little bit of activity around the western top end and maybe the isolated and an isolated shower across the northeast Arnhem district, and also uh, some potential for a weak shower or two along the north tropical coast. On Saturday, we continue to see that trough system in WA. Also, an a secondary trough system developing near closer to the coast so uh, that that's why Port Hedland folks might see just the chance there of a shower uh, also the western top end we can see isolated activity there Queensland remains fairly dry on Saturday so a great weekend for Queenslanders and pretty well a great weekend for Northern Territory uh, Territory residents except for the fact that of those isolated showers and storms which could produce some squalls if you're out on the water on Sunday things are looking great for Queensland sky clear for most of the state if not all the state and in in WA, we continue to see showers and thunderstorms in that Kimberley region. They're never ending. Even the possibility of some of those making it to the coast. And on Monday, we have a continuation of shower and storm activity across the Western Australian region. Uh, once again, off the more populated areas of the coast. Uh, so most of, the, most of these storms are falling in places that don't have rain gauges and don't have people in them. And also over the western top end, uh, still the continuation of just very isolated activity there. And over Queensland, pretty well sky clear again. Maybe the chance of a shower there in the southeastern corner. So once again, recapping the next four days, very boring across the most of the northern half of the country, except for the Kimberley region and the eastern parts of WA. Now, in the four days after that, we see a new storm outbreak possible over southeast Queensland. We have another trough system. Once again, those storms don't extend too far to the north. We're more than likely going to see that uh, activity limited to southern, maybe even the central parts of the Queensland. Co uh, central parts of Queensland. Uh, nothing for the western half of Queensland. That trough system develops too far to the east at this stage. And also some potential for redevelopment of thunderstorms across the Gulf region of, of Queensland as well. As well as maybe some showers across the northern tip of Cape York. Over the western top end, still only isolated activity. Quite a slow build-up period continues. And over the North Kimberley, we do see an enhanced area of showers and thunderstorms right near the North Kimberley coastline where the sea breeze convergence occurs. 
As we head into the last few days of the month, we are looking at potential increased chances of fairly widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms across Queensland particularly, but also across the northwestern top end. But uh, we'll talk a bit more about that for our subscribers in our subscription videos. But for now, folks, it's pretty smooth sailing and it's also remaining dry and stable for most of the next week for most of the far north. Once again, the exception being the Kimberley region and possibly southeast Queensland as we head into middle parts of next week. Thanks for watching today and we'll have another update on Tuesday. Let's try that again, maybe Monday the 17th of November. Have a great weekend. For details on subscriptions, go to our website, ozcyclonechasers.com.au, click on subscribe to OCC, or you can watch our OCC subscriber service video at the bottom of our homepage. We thank you for your support, and we'll talk again Monday.